Hello, AP Psych students. Uh, coming to you from the classroom because I stayed up too late watching the 2020 election results and didn't get to find out who won. And I'm a little dreary, so I didn't make these videos. So I'm making them today for you. We're going into chapter four on neurons, hormones, and the brain, which is arguably one of the tougher chapters. Uh, there's a lot to memorize. There's a lot to understand. We're going to help you with mnemonics and things like that. Uh, if you've taken an anatomy class, you have a little bit of an advantage because this will help you. So our first section today, we're going to put the, the look at the nervous system, the basic blueprint of the whole nervous system we're going to look at. So neuropsychologists uh, and neuroscientists study these areas. Uh, Self-awareness makes brain research kind of different than anything else in the, in the universe. I mean, literally, the brain named itself. And so we're self-aware of what's going on, and so it's very difficult to kind of pinpoint some things. It makes it unique. Uh, the brain weighs three pounds uh, on average, but uses 20% of your energy. Uh, so most of the energy that's probably, the, you know, uses a lot of it, just a good chunk, is to fuel your brain. Uh, exercise gets the body moving, gets blood moving to the brain, bringing oxygen, which is fuel for your brain, and it's a cleanser. It takes out bad stuff. So if you're tired, if you're fearing, feeling like a brain fog, all you got to do is stand up, stand up. Stretch a little bit, show off your muscles, your guns, and you'll get brain blood going to your brain. You'll feel better. You'll have more focus. You know, if you have to, take a walk. Go get a drink. You have a drinking fountain. It'll refresh your mind and give you food for your brain. So it also brings glucose, which is brain food and energy for your brain, all that good stuff. You know, you can get that from eating an old banana here or whatever you want to do. Uh, aerobic exercise two times a week cuts dementia risk in half. Dementia is when you get Alzheimer's and you kind of lose functioning of the brain you can't figure things out when you're older aerobic exercise big so get out there exercise take a walk it's healthy for your brain and of course if we're talking about the brain we have to talk about pinky in the brain so here is the brain song i'm going to violate some copyright laws sorry here here you go and now the part of the brain performed by <laughs> the brain yes Neocortex frontal lobe. Brain stem! Brain stem! Hippocampus neural node. Right hemisphere. Pons and cortex visual. Brain stem! Brain stem! Sylvian fissure pineal. Left hemisphere. Cerebellum left. Cerebellum right. Synapse hypothalamus. Striatum dent right. Get down, brain. Jam. Axon fibers matter gray. Central tegmental pathway. Temporal lobe. White core matter for brain skull. Central fissure cord spinal. Parietal. Diameter. Meningeal vein. Medulla oblongata and lobe limbic. Microelectrodes. Oh! The brain. That ought to keep the little squirts happy. Yeah. And off to take over the world. All right, so our central nervous system, or our CNS, receives, processes, and interprets, stores incoming information. Uh, it's a central highway. It's, it, it's like I-70 of our, our nervous system. Uh, it's, it, it's streamlined. It's uh, an expressway to the brain. You can also think of it as also like a, the main river. And then all the other peripheral nervous system, all the other neurons and nerves in our body are like the little county roads or like the tributaries and creeks and creeks if you're from the west and streams and all that good stuff. The brain and the spinal cord, the, which is basically the tail of the brain, is our central nervous system. Uh, so that's what it, it, it is. So all of our brain, our hindbrain, and then the, the spinal cord and all that good stuff. We do have spinal reflexes. If you touch something hot, the signal doesn't have to all go all the way to your brain and back. The nervous system can say that hurts. Move your hand. Uh, so these are automatic reactions that do not need conscious effort. When you were a kid and went to the doctor and they would, you know, hit your knee like that and you'd kick, that is a reflex. Uh, so they were testing your nervous system there is what they were doing, not just being mean and hitting you with a hammer. So neural pathways run up and down the spinal cord. Uh, they can be influenced by our thoughts and our emotions. We can overcome things. We can basically uh, have pain and say, you know what, I'm not going to move my hand. I'm going to let my hand uh, sizzle a little bit because it smells good. Uh, I don't know why you do that. But your brain can do that. You, we can overcome those with our thoughts and our emotions. We can overcome fear and other things as well. 
Uh, neural messages travel over 200 miles per hour. So unless you're in Germany on the Autobahn, they're going to get a speeding ticket around here. So our peripheral nervous system is everything else. Um, the input and output of the CNS, the central nervous system, all the portions of the nervous, nervous system that are outside of the brain in the spinal column or the spinal cord. Um, you have sensory nerves that carry messages from special receptors in the skin, our muscles, our other sense organs that are going on. You have motor nerves which carry orders from the central nervous system to the muscles, the glands, and, and, and internal organs so I can move my hands, I can talk with my hands because I'm very Italian. Uh, you have afferent neurons that carry messages to the brain, and you have efferent neurons, neurons which carry messages to the body. Not sure I can remember that. So afferent goes to the brain, efferent goes to the body. So very subtle difference like affect and effect. Good luck with that. You also have inner neurons, um, intern neurons, excuse me, that are in the brain and control both. They can control afferent and efferent neurons. Good stuff there. Man, learning a lot. Um, so the two parts of the peripheral nervous system. So we do a thing where we, we have a, a person, a partner, um, and you know what? I'm going to go grab someone real quick. Hang on. So we have our little stormtrooper here. Have our stormtrooper. So what we would do is we'd go behind the stormtrooper and we would say central nervous system. We'd rub their head and go down the spine, down the spine, but that's not a real back. But we'd do this central nervous system. Then we would rub their shoulders, say peripheral nervous system. All right. So that kind of tells us our two parts of the nervous system. And then what we're going to do um, is we're going to have them make muscles. Show me your muscles. Got your muscles there? He's a supreme. That is your somatic nervous system. Soma is the Greek word for body. So our muscular nervous system, how we move is the somatic nervous system. Uh -huh. So that's voluntary movement, uh, snapping your fingers, standing up, holding up a stormtrooper who's falling down, which stormtroopers, by the way, are really short. You know, the whole joke, aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? I guess I'm a little tall. I should be a Sith Lord. And you have the autonomic nervous system. That's our love dub, love dub. Left up, left up. That's our auto, it's automatic, it's autonomic, it's our heart rate, it's our breathing, our digestion, our glands, all that stuff that's going on. It regulates the function of our blood vessels, our glands, our internal organs. Uh, it is automatic, uh, but consciousness can override it. You can have biofeedback. Some people can slow their heart rates, they can uh, slow their breathing. You can take a deep breath and slow things down. It's very, very good. Uh, and then the autonomic nervous system is divided into two parts. We have the sympathetic nervous system, which when we do this with our partner, we do, let's review, central nervous system, down the spine, brain, peripheral nervous system, okay, make, make your muscles, somatic nervous system, love dub, love dub, they're going to touch their own heart there, is the autonomic, and then we're going to scare them, Wah! scare you, Wah! because that speeds up the body. The sympathetic nervous system activates our heart rate, we get adrenaline that's released, um, it's our fight or flight thing, which is in the hypothalamus, um, all these things that go on. So we have the, your pupils dilate, it inhibits your, your saliva flow, your heart rate increases, your, your brochia dilates so you can take in more oxygen, um, you don't really digest anymore, um, and, and you have the bladder is constricted, you have adrenaline, all that stuff. So then we calm them down, like, it's okay, take a deep breath. Ah, oh, we like you. It's okay. That activates your parasympathetic nervous system. So sympathetic is fight or flight. Parasympathetic is the rest or digest, which our eyes open a little bit, heart rate slows, breathing is more regular, digestion starts, and we kind of slow down. This is why if you've ever done anything athletic and you kind of had to go to the bathroom a little bit, you kind of had to pee, and then you play the game, and like you forget about it, and then at halftime, you're like, oh my gosh, i got to go to the bathroom. That's because your sympathetic nervous system kicked in during the game, you're excited, and then afterwards the parasympathetic nervous system kicked in and you had to slow down. We're going to take, say bye, Stormtrooper. Here we go. So here's how it's broken down a little more. Uh, kind of help you that. Um, really, it, it's important that you know this. So the central nervous system, brain and the, and the spinal cord, peripheral nervous system, which is, has our somatic nervous system. We also have our sensory neurons to feel touch and pressure and heat and all that. And then once that, again, that's broken down, somatic nervous system is voluntary. And then the autonomic, which is our heart rate and all that. We have a sympathetic to scare you, fight or flight. And then the parasympathetic, ah, meditate, rest or digest. That's all I have for this time. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know.